I start, just uh, wanted to say thank you for everyone who's been uh, following, uh, first of all, my career from day one and uh, who's been on this journey with me. It's uh, none of this would have happened the way it did, obviously, without any of these people. So that's really, 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 um, really grateful for all of that. And uh, thank you for all of you who have been following this YouTube channel. Obviously, it's grown quite a bit. I have over 100 subscribers. It makes me really happy and uh, therefore I'm so excited to share this last episode of my figure skating story. And uh, uh, like I said, this is not the last video on this channel. I have another one coming up already next week. So just uh, uh, thank you for staying here. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. It's all very, very, very good. Uh, so 2016, um, that was like a very turbulent year for me. Also 2017, but 2016 in some ways more because that started some changes and 2017 I made those changes. So 2016, after the season, I was a bit of uh, in, a, in a hard place myself because I didn't make it to Worlds. I was um, upset about that. And also I definitely did not take enough time to rest from that very exciting and emotional season. And... Um, just a side note for every athlete watching this whenever you have this feeling that that you just like something is up and you're not sure what it is and but you're thinking that maybe i'm emotionally tired most likely you are and from my own experience take the time take some time off and just be you know if you feel that you need this you probably do and that was my number one mistake. I felt it, but I was like halfway giving myself the time. So I did, uh, I went on a couple of holidays with my parents. Uh, so in total, I took off 10 days. Um, and then I went back to training and um, we, I flew straight to US this time without my coach, but my other coach was in the US. And uh, US training was like, it was not as good as the year before because I was not as motivated, I was not as determined, I didn't have like a set goal and I didn't care about the result. I was like halfway, you know, I wasn't like like slacking off, but I was definitely not like fully in it and everything seemed more annoying. I did not, my like mind and my body didn't want to take as much, it wasn't as tolerant to heavy trainings anymore. And um, I had some issues with the coach there because of those things. Like that was the year he kicked me off the ice and we had like a bunch of conversation. And I told him like, listen, I'm like confused about everything. And I have like my weight problems because that was when I started like, when I was struggling a lot with my weight. And he saw that and he was like, I mean, he's a guy, like, what is he gonna say? Like he did everything right and he was supportive. And it was just me that I was like getting a little messed up because I had someone I fell in love right before the summer and that really took my focus like completely off of training like these things happen like, i was becoming a little confused on what i want and do i want to do this like in, deep inside i'm like i love this like I, I i came all this way like i can't just quit now and obviously i had like my family and everyone around me like telling like you you can't quit like you're so great just keep pushing you know it's hard but it's gonna be worth it and then once the season started, um, it, it like it just didn't feel right. Every practice was like a struggle for me. I, I did not go to practice out of joy. I went to practice just to get it over with. And my coach, obviously, she noticed it. And she asked me what was up. And I was just like, I don't know. Like, I just want to take some time off. And then I started traveling with, with, um, with my boyfriend. And I was just like... You know, I, I tried to live like a, I tried to balance those things, but it, it didn't work. I was still feeling the same way when the more I balanced, the less I wanted to go to the rink. And that was about the same time I started. Uh, I told my, uh, at that time, the boyfriend that I had, I told him about my eating disorder. Then next step, I told my family and then everything started crumbling. I had so many like personal issues that I had to work through and to be like a, like a athlete that's representing their country trying to struggle with their like whatever like everyone has their problems like it's not a big deal but i was just like not handling it that well and um 
it was about, well, I can't even remember how nationals went that year. It's like a blur. And these things happen, you know. So, um, after nationals, well, actually, no, nationals was quite okay. So, after nationals, I went on a holiday. I was like, I, I need time off, like, this is too much. So I had a really nice holiday. I was finally in warm air. I was like, this is exactly what I needed. And after I came back, I was, I, I knew what I had to do. I knew that this was the time to get healthy. And this was the time to really like, like really take care of myself. So I came back and 2017 arrived and that came like a big bang. <laughs> like that 2017 was, I think it's one of the most hectic and craziest years I've had and I've had some crazy years so first thing I did I moved out of my house I told my parents I'm gonna get my own place and I had this like really big urge that I need to be independent and I need to prove myself that I can do it and so I just needed to know that I can take care of myself and I needed to prove it to myself so first I told them I'm gonna get an apartment they were like a little shocked, but they were like, whatever, do what you want. I, I was a grown up. So I got an apartment in the city center. Next, I told my coach that I'm not going to return to training until I'm healed. Oh, well, first of all, this is how I told her what's going on with me because I hadn't gone into practice for some time. And then I felt like I really need to tell her she needs to know what's going on. So I told her da 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 da. She was very supportive. Obviously, she she's always been like understanding and not like a drama queen like she like this she's like a person you can actually talk to so i told her i'm a, i have these issues and i need to take care of those things and she said okay just you know you, you should not quit like this i understand that you want to come back to skating so um take as long as you need don't take too long but come back tell me let me know how's it going so next i started giving privates and that was like a good time for me in 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 this in that period like this is this was exactly what i needed i was skating with kids they gave me like such positive energy they were also grateful and pure and like everything about them was good because my own life at the time seemed so tainted and fake and like it really felt like i was i had been lying to myself all these years and like I knew I couldn't continue like that. So those kids were really like a, like a good thing in my life. And I still like really cherish that because I love kids. So I, and also at the time I had gotten rid of all of my social media. I was like nowhere to be found. No one knew when, where I lived. I didn't, I like did not invite any of my friends over. I was not even talking to my friends at the moment at that time. I was like, I wrote down what I wanted from my life, like be healthy, happy successful, um, happy, healthy, like those things. And then like some smaller goals. And I was like, this is what I need to start working on now. And whatever it takes, I need to do this. Everything else can wait. So 2017, first four months until like around like May, something like that, I, I was in a big hole, which I needed it everyone goes through that so it's I, i'm not trying to make a big deal out of it i'm just telling my story and by like may I, I i started going back to training a little bit i was definitely better but i wasn't like healed but i was i i was kind of control like i i had started taking control over my life so that in that sense it was it was better and i was back in training and by june you see in this video it was actually my coach's birthday and in this video you can see that i finally landed somewhat decent triples and you see how big of a relief that was that was like that moment and that day when i like proved myself like okay joe you're back now and you can do this so just pick yourself up now and just keep going from here because you you got here on your own now and you're gonna be you're gonna do just fine and that was really like a breakthrough moment my, my coach's birthday uh, and um, after that we flew to France I had some new training mates that was all great I was really 
I started like living again in a little bit. I felt like I was coming back. I opened up my Instagram. I not open. I made a new Instagram and I was like kind of back in my friend's life and I was getting better. Uh, I was like, I was not like great on the ice, but I was definitely, I saw that there's like, this is what I came to get and, and I'm going to get what I wanted. Um, also that summer, a lot of other stuff happened. My great stuff, my sister got married. That was like an awesome wedding, uh, best time of my life. Uh, but also I, one family member, um, actually died. So that was like another like big, like stuff crumbling around me. And okay, season came in, I did my last test skate and from September to like November, that was like, great time so I decided to pay for all my training so I worked and then I paid for my training so that already like shifted the way I looked at trainings I took them much more seriously but I did them less so it was quality over quantity and that was great that was very very fine but then once November came oh my god I started realizing that I have one month left and then that's it so I like counted I had a calendar and I counted down how many trainings I have left till I'm done like forever and that really like it was like a big wave at my face I was like oh my god this is happening so I really started um and this whole time I was making plans for like what's after so I was already working at my mom's I was working with kids and I like tried to see different things I was studying law I'm still studying law and I just wanted to see different things in life and what's going to work for me and uh and i i managed to balance i was i had a really good balance with like trainings in my own life which is hard to do when you have to compete at nationals and be like um top of your game but i did it and that that was a great lesson for me um and now i get to nationals so nationals came i had a new dress and for my short and i knew it was going to be like a very special event for me so I decided to make an announcement. I, made, I invited all my friends and, and fans to come watch me skate last time. And that was like a very special preparation for me. It wasn't perfect. I was not in my best physical shape in the sense that I wasn't like doing as many triples as I did the year before. But mentally, I was in like such a calm and peaceful state of mind. And that was the best thing about it. So I had my last training on December 8th. I invited my mom to come take photos. I, and everything was just, I was becoming emotional, but I didn't quite realize what's good, what was gonna happen next. And then um, here's the short program. I, uh, I enjoyed it. I didn't do a perfect skate, but I enjoyed it. And I kept telling myself like, Joe, it's fine. And you know, like one secret, not secret, one dream that I always had was that I wish once in my life, when I finish the skating program, people would stand up and, and I could see that I touched them with my performance. And uh, it's crazy, but that's exactly what happened on December 11th in my long program. And that was just like wonderful. Um, that day already so what was the whole day i was actually the whole week i was listening to this dua lipa song last dance that just like kept me pumped up and um when the free program day came everything was surreal i was nervous i was anxious i was happy i was confused and the last thing i was thinking about was the fact that i was competing that day it didn't feel like a competition for me. It really felt like like the last page of a book, you know? 18 years I had done it and the like, competing and oh wow. And I skated my program and I remember I was super focused, super calm and happy and about halfway through the program I realized I had to make any mistakes by that point in that program and I just like let go like really let go I was enjoying like I was that's still like one of the most amazing five minutes of my life I still remember it like like yesterday 
Um, so I finished my program and I didn't quite realize yet that that was the last program I ever do at competitions. And, and then I finished and I went to bow and I see everyone standing up like in the audience. It wasn't, then I saw some friends who came to watch and I was just like, this is it. <laughs> and then I started crying. I saw my coach and my mom by the boards and they were both like bawling their eyes out because obviously they couldn't believe that I just skated so well and that this was the last time and like you know ever like we we had such like a special journey like my mom was always at all my competitions from like day one and um, my coach was like she went through so much with me and and we we like had such a long journey because she she's known me since I was like seven you know and now this girl was like like and that was this there was such a special moment you like you have no idea and then i went off the ice and it was like a very emotional moment for us and i was waiting for my marks and then i made like my season's best and i think it was actually my personal best score and then that was it i was so happy and like um, we did fireworks on the top of my first rink that I ever stepped on the ice. Me and my mom, my mom and my dad, we set off fireworks. We had a super nice dinner. My parents were so emotional and they were so happy. And I think it was, it was like one of the greatest days of my life. And then that was it. <laughs> I woke up the next morning and I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do now. <laughs> Um, but everything worked out and uh, I'm really happy that I did all this like like all of that everything that happened the good the bad the wonderful and the not so wonderful it's it's just somehow it all like makes sense and and it just taught me so much and I would like never be where I am today. Um, and I never even imagined I would be where I am today. Like, and it's great. And I'm really like thankful to my family and my, uh, all the coaches that I've had and, uh, and all my f close friends there's so many of them that have supported me and like been on this journey and um, like it's a very special thing to have in your life and it comes at a huge cost and I'm just that much smarter today and like I really hope I can impart my wisdom, wisdom one day to my kids who I, I don't know what they're gonna do and if I'm even gonna have any but that's it. Okay. Let me know what you guys think. Bye.